Hi everyone, this is our instructor Asma Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in this lecture I have solved the end problem uh, number 5.A where you have to drive the state table and the state diagram of the given sequential circuit that is designed using the T flip flop. So you can see two T type flip flops are present here and uh, uh, finally you have to decide what function this circuit is actually performing okay so the problem is falling in the category of analysis of the sequential circuits and while performing the analysis of the sequential circuits you have to determine the state equations then either the flip-flop equations from which you can actually determine the flip-flop output equations or the state table and finally you can draw the state diagram from it we know that uh, for the t types of the flip-flop the general output is equal to t complement q plus t q complement where t is the input to the t flip flop or the toggle flip flop and q and q complement are it's actually complemented outputs fine if you look at the given circuitry you can see here the t input is represented or can be represented by T of A and that is actually the OR of A and B. So you can write it as A plus B. Fine. Similarly, if you look at the second flip-flop, you can clearly see T of B is actually the O-ring of A complement and then B. So, you can write it as A complement plus B. Fine. So, from here we got actually the flip-flops input equations okay in order to determine the state equations we know that a of t plus 1 should be generally equal to what it should be equal to t of a complement into q plus t of a complement sorry t of a into q complement fine where t of a is the input to the flip flop and q would be the output in this particular circuitry case we can see t of a is actually equal to a plus b and what is q q is the output of this flip flop which is actually a in this case then plus T of A as it is which is A plus B and then the complemented output of the first flip flop which is actually A complement in that case. Okay. If you expand this expression you can clearly see it will become A complement into B complement according to the De Morgan's law. And then you can write A as it is. Similarly, if you will expand it, you know that A into A complement is actually 0. And then you will uh, you will just left with A complement into B. On further simplification, the same rule will be applied. A into A complement will result 0. And then we are just left with the simple expression that is A complement B. So here... You are having the next state 
as a of t plus 1 which is equal to a complement b. Similarly, when you will drive this state equation for the second flip-flop, so b of t plus 1 would be equal to, again I will write it as t of b complement into q plus t b q complement. In this case, t of b is equal to a complement plus b complement and what is q? q is actually b then plus a complement plus b into b complement. Fine. Uh, let's just simplify it further so we can get some uh, more simplified expression. Now again I will apply the De Morgan's theorem which will make this term equal to A into B complement and then B and here I will have A complement B complement and again B into B complement is equal to 0. And same rule will be applied over here. So this term will become 0 and you are left with 0 plus A complement and B complement. From here we have concluded that A of T plus 1 is actually equal to A complement B while B of T plus 1 which is the next state basically of our flip-flop circuitry it's equal to A complement B complement. This circuitry is little bit different from the previous circuits that I had explained. Uh, you can see in the playlist. It's, it has no external input and no output. Okay. There is no input uh, present that is being provided at some combinational part and no output is being generated from it. So here only two flip-flops are present and we will be dealing with the states. Now let's draw the state table for it. Okay. So here I will be drawing the state table. We have two present states that can be marked as A of T and b of t they both can be 0 they can be either 0 or 1 1 0 and 1 1 similarly the next states can be either a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 fine and now their values can be generated using the formula that i have derived a of t plus 1 was equal to a complement B and similarly B of T plus 1 was equal to A complement and B complement fine. So using these two equations I will fill these two columns. First I will cover A of T plus 1. So you know that when A is 0 its complement will be 1 but since B is 0 so this term will be 0. Okay. Similarly you can generate rest of the entries for a of t plus 1 using the same rule here a is 0 its complement will be 1 while b is 1 so their end will generate 1 now rest of the entries will be 0 same goes for b of t plus 1 it will be equal to 1 only when both entries are equal to 0 which is the first combination of the input that's why I'll write one over here and rest of the entries will be zero okay now we are done with the straight table because there are no input and output present the next step is to draw this state diagram from it so here are two state presents they both can be either zero zero they can be zero or one one zero or one one all right now if you look at this at present when you are at the zero zero state you are going to the next state which is zero one so i will draw an arrow like that okay when you are at the zero one state 
you are going to one zero state so being in the zero one state you are moving to one zero state and when you are at one zero state you will be moving to the zero zero state fine and when you are at one one state again you are moving to zero zero state so you can call this state as the reset state and if you look at the sequence from zero zero you are going to zero one so from zero zero you are going to zero one and then from one zero you are going zero one to going one zero and from one zero you are going to zero zero so if you look at their decimal equivalent it's zero it's one it's two and finally reset again and whatever the other states are they are also moving to the reset state so this circuitry is actually counting numbers or the sequence less than three if you are having the sequence greater than three your state or your counter will be set reset automatically thank you for watching